it's time for the next uh, pitch from the Sense and Sea team. Please come to the pitch stage to hear them. Hello, uh, I'm Mike from Sense and Sea. So I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our biosensor. Um, we started with a simple plan to have a simple sample with rapid results. We wanted to make it cheaply and efficiently because cardiac health in the US uh, is not the worst in the world, but we're pretty bad. Uh, the progression from the 70s until now has moved the highest concentration of cardiac deaths to more rural areas with less access to healthcare. So our goal was to make it cheap and affordable to give a point of care diagnostic device that anyone can go and use and shrink the time between diagnosis and treatment. One of the other caveats of this is emergency room care is crowded with people that present similar symptoms to a, an acute cardiac event. But if you can have a test that's very rapid and very cheap, then it's very easy to implement this test and say, yes, you need to go to the emergency room right now. Or you can go home, it's just indigestion, it's fine, too many burritos, lay off, you're going to be OK. So the time between diagnosis and care right now is like 30 minutes. And that's pushing the window to actually having long-term damage uh, during a heart event, cardiac event. Um, the point of care diagnostics market, as you can see, is growing rapidly, projected up until 2022. But the cardiac biomarker, surprisingly, is plateaued. It's leveled off. So because our technology uh, hits a lot of these different places specific to point of care, we see that it'll be a very disruptive tech if we can bring our sensor to market. Our multiplex disc-based device is very cheap to produce and can be implemented to detect multiple biomarkers all at once. So when we flow our sample through the disc, right now we're looking for NT-ProBNP, but you can put a blood sample on. Our motor is fast enough to do centrifuge in our device. We can separate out the blood plasma, flow it through the sensor, and detect not only NT-ProBNP, but also troponin, CK isoforms, myoglobin, and run a full cardiac panel in one spin of the disc in less than five minutes. Uh, there's a close-up of our assay disc with something that doesn't look anything like serum or blood. Uh, those are just food coloring, so you can see what it looks like. But our buffer solution is the pink chamber, and the serum or blood sample will go in the blue chamber. We can accurately control the flow based on the centrifugal force. So as we spin up to one RPM, the serum will flow, hit the first chamber, pick up our detection analyte, um, and stay put and wait. When we spin it a little faster, our buffered solution then flows through and forces it through the rest of our detection. The waste comes out the back, and our capture antibodies trap the NT-Pro BMP in the detection well, which is then detected via an LED and a photodiode. Uh, this is all encased in a very rugged housing and uses very little power. One of our pride and joys, how many electrical engineers are on our team, so we were able to use very specific technology to get the power usage way down, and we can use it over 500 times in one battery charge. So if you were to take this into the field, if we can make it rugged enough to put on an ambulance, then you don't even have to go to an urgent care facility or the emergency room. They can come to you, detect this right there, and they'll know right away whether you're having a cardiac event. One of my favorite quotes is, if I were to become a doctor today, I would not go into medicine, I would go into statistics. Because uh, doctors have a very powerful ability to treat the individual, but if we want to provide health care, we need to have as much data as possible over as many different backgrounds as possible. Gender, age, everything. So if our device is very cheap and easy to implement, and we put it on a Bluetooth system because it's battery powered, we can then collect that data, anonymously aggregate it, and use that to treat people in the future more accurately. Again, I'm Sense NC. This is our team. I'd like to thank Assist for sponsoring us. And I'd like to thank our mentor, Dr. Danielle, and Ashlyn Young. Thank you. Uh, any questions? If you have any questions, you can also go to the stand to ask it.